What's up guys? We are here with video number eight. We are getting close to the end of my nine video series, my rock crawling challenge. Um, these trucks here are the ones that we have done so far. <laughs> and as you can tell, there's something going on in my deadbolt there, yes. Um, if you've been following, you will have heard her, you will have seen me tell you or whatever how you want to view it anyway he is going into retirement yep because i am using his chassis for another build of mine um you can kind of see the top of it there behind snake bite <laughs> um i did actually post it on reddit tonight um i couldn't wait until tomorrow um, I wanted to make sure it would make his Saturday's video. He's got a lot of submissions that he's going through. Um, he does a Saturday video of his Reddit page. He goes through and reviews all the build projects. I wanted to make sure that mine made the cut because there is a lot of them. So anyway, this is what we have gone through so far. Um, so far the ranking is my C10 in first place with uh, two penalties. And then we have a three-way tie for second place with my Defender 90, the Donko, and my dad's Deadbolt with three penalties each. And then in fourth place is the Element Enduro 24 and in fifth place, last place so far is Snake Bite. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know if it's just my driving skills or what, but the, the, the Donko, uh, aka the Bronco, is they're literally the same truck. And yeah, I went from three penalties with the the Donko to um, seven penalties with snake bite. It was just a bad day. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that's where we're at. So that leaves us finally with these two guys. Oh, I got him all turned around. Yep, we have Baby Digger and Baby Son of a Digger. Yes, these are probably. I don't know. They're not quite my favorite, but they're they're up there in my list. But uh, yeah, so today I think I'm going to run my baby son of a digger. Um, I think I'm just gonna kind of save the best for last. My dad's baby digger there. Yeah, I put a new steering link on it last night. So yeah, it's from Trio. I thought the green looks kind of cool, even though there's like three different shades of green on there, just like his deadbolt. But uh, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. I got some more upgrades coming for it. So yeah, keep in tune for that. But let's get to it and run this little guy right here. This like, in my mind, it's a 132nd scale. <laughs> my son of a digger. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, here we go, my 132nd scale SCX baby son of a digger. Again, we are doing just uh, penalties as hitting the gates, helping hands, and rollovers. And if you've been watching, goes without saying that a rollover is technically two penalties. So, let's get to it. Um, I will add, I don't think that this truck is going to do all that great. Number one, because the suspension is super stiff. Uh, there's penalty number one, guys. I just hit that gate. Um, and <laughs> as you can tell, it's super top heavy because that body right there is metal. So it weighs a freaking ton. I don't even know if we're gonna make it up this thing. 
it weighs a lot, guys. So, hmm. I think I might have to cheat a little bit. The gate's already dead. He obviously is not going to make it up that way, so let's try this way. Oh, he's not going to make it up that way either. Oh, and there's a rollover, so two penalties and a helping hand. So, I'm going to just stick him up there. So there is obstacle number one that he could not do. That's not boding very well for him. So we continue on to gate two. We are at three penalties. I hit the gate and the helping hand and rollover. I'm going to have to change out those shocks. I put them on there because for a little while I had a different body on there. It was uh, another like miniature grave digger body to tell you the truth. I took off another toy and huh. So this is three, four, five penalties now. Five penalties guys. But anyway, so I was going for more of a <clears throat> retro kind of look with it, like power wagon kind of, or not power wagon, panel, panel van wagon, panel wagon thing like the original Grave Digger was. But uh, yeah, I finally got this body after ordering it some time ago. For some reason it took forever to get to me so this is what my original plan was when i built this truck but uh i just gotta change out the shocks so i haven't quite decided on what shocks i want to use yet um to improve the performance that was gate three by the way guys as i'm babbling along um to improve the performance a little bit i think i might just throw the stockies back in there um just because they're a little bit more forgiving than these ones so, oh, I wasn't even filming that. Sorry, guys. I just went through the tunnel, is all. He's back in there. All right, gate four. Yep, I kind of figured that was going to happen. All right, guys, I got to change out the battery. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are back. I put a new battery in it, and lo and behold, the motor just fried. <laughs> just my luck. Um, yeah. That really sucks. I think actually this video is upside down right now too. <laughs> um, yeah, that really that really stinks, guys. So I guess we are gonna chalk this up to bad luck, but uh, I'm sorry to say he is disqualified. <laughs> um, I'll probably add like a video 10 or whatever and maybe we'll get him on back in there for a second chance but uh yeah that kind of stinks all right guys let me know what you think in the comments <laughs> hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you later okay guys um i have changed my I'm trying to get my camera I think this is upside down but I'm not sure but anyway I've changed my mind I'm going to continue on with this video um, it's still going to be nine videos long but I figured I'll combine this one with baby digger and we'll run him a second and then tomorrow I will debut my project I've been working on for a little while um, the chassis pretty much 
has been built for a long time but I just decided to go another route with it um, I still got some plans for it I'm gonna probably put a uh, surpass motor in it along with a Fury Tech ESC but anyway let's run baby digger and see how he does okay baby digger up to bat here we go Oh, and there's penalty number one. Let's try to do this with only one penalty, guys. I kind of think this guy needs to win. That was gate number two. Going down through the rip wrap rock bed to gate three. Ooh, that was a close one, but we missed it. I still gotta upgrade the servo on this thing, that's why I have to do a 50 point turn up there because that servo hopefully doesn't burn out on me in this video. But that servo is just a stock servo and those stock servos are just so weak. And uh, with these big tires and heavy uh, trio rims, they just, uh, they struggle a little bit. Oh, and I wasn't filming that again, guys. Oh, I'm not used to having this camera on my remote. <laughs> and that rock, man. That one stupid slippery stinking rock. It's just being a problem child. Okay, so we have one penalty so far. Almost got another one. That was gate four, guys. And here we are, gate five. Oh, man, three penalties, guys. One for the rollover, another one for the helping hand. Oh, three penalties, that stinks. I was really hoping I was gonna get through this with only one penalty. Still cool. Underneath the campsite. Up to gate six. And I'm not filming. Now gate seven. I love these tires, they just are so freaking sweet. They give this thing such a good ground clearance. And they just can crawl over anything. Except for that one rock over there. So that was seven. And here we go through eight. See if we can't get through here with no penalty. Look at that. I think that's the easiest time I had crawling over that little rock. Well, there you go, guys. We, three penalties. Total of three penalties. Baby Digger. So stay tuned for Saturday's video. Um, I think you guys are gonna like what I have in store. Uh, hit that subscribe button and 
we will see you later.